On 13th October, we witnessed a historic achievement in space exploration. The return and catch of Starship's Super Heavy booster on its fifth flight. Since then, SpaceX and Elon Musk have shared more details about the booster's condition, the purpose of the catch, and when we can expect Flight 6. Let's break it all down. The booster's condition. What we know so far. Following the landing, there was minimal visible damage. A few metal pieces flew off after the landing burn, followed by a small fire, but it quickly extinguished itself. The booster was safely lowered by SpaceX's chopsticks and placed back on the launch mount. Elon Musk tweeted, Just inspected the Starship booster, which the arms have now placed back in its launch mount. Looks great. A few outer engine nozzles are warped from heating and some other minor issues, but these are easily addressed. The design of Starship allows for rapid reflight, with the booster returning within five minutes after launch. Musk explained that the remaining time after landing is spent reloading propellant and preparing the ship for its next mission. The main issue identified was some warping on the engine nozzles, likely caused by the intense heat during re-entry. The re-entry heating began much earlier than expected as the booster descended through the atmosphere. This, combined with the ignition of the landing burn and the stress of the initial launch, likely contributed to the nozzle warping. However, Musk reassured that these problems are easily fixable and should be resolved before Flight 6. The Catch. Why it matters. Now, let's talk about the catch. Many people wondered why SpaceX chose to catch the booster instead of landing it like Falcon 9. This morning, Musk provided some clarity. He explained, The strong gravity of Earth makes the physics of a fully reusable rocket with positive payload margin extremely difficult to solve, which is why it's never been done before. By removing the massive landing legs and using the tower to slow the booster's final velocity, we significantly improve the payload margin. This also allows for a much faster launch cadence. In essence, by catching the booster, SpaceX removes the need for landing legs, which reduces weight and increases payload capacity. This design also allows for faster turnaround times. Instead of having the booster sit on the ground for refueling and repreparation, the same arms that catch the booster place it back on the launch mount, ready for the next launch. SpaceX aims for an ambitious timeline, catching the booster and preparing it for launch within an hour. This approach isn't just about improving reusability, it's about speeding up the process. Musk and his team want to eventually achieve launches every hour, and the ability to catch the booster at the launch site is a crucial part of that vision. Heat Shield Improvements One of the major upgrades made before Flight 5 was the rework of Starship's heat shield. Technicians spent over 12,000 hours replacing the old thermal protection system with advanced tiles designed for better re-entry performance. The improvements were noticeable. While some burn-through and tile breakage occurred, the heat shield performed much better than in Flight 4. Musk pointed out that while the new ablative material is not ideal for reusability, it serves as a backup in case the tiles crack or fall off. He described the challenge of installing these tiles. The tiles are like dinner plates on a rocket. The rocket shakes, shrinks with the propellant, expands under pressure, and the tiles expand when they heat up. It's a lot of expansion and contraction, which makes it hard to keep them from cracking or falling off. This heat shield is a key part of Starship's reusability. Although it's not perfect yet, SpaceX continues to improve the system to ensure the vehicle can withstand the intense conditions of re-entry and launch repeatedly. Starship Flight 6. What's next? With Flight 5 now complete, attention turns to Flight 6. Many experts predict that it could happen as soon as November or December, depending on the changes made to the flight profile. If SpaceX sticks to a similar profile, we could see the next launch much sooner. After Flight 5, SpaceX released a statement highlighting the success of the mission. They said, Starship's fifth flight test lifted off on October 13, 2024, with our most ambitious test objectives yet, as we work to demonstrate techniques fundamental to Starship and Super Heavy's fully reusable design. On our first try, Mechazilla caught the booster following a successful liftoff, ascent stage separation, boost back burn, and coast. The Super Heavy booster performed its landing burn and was caught by the chopstick arms at Starbase. This wasn't just a technological achievement for SpaceX. 
It's a glimpse into the future of space travel. Starship demonstrated hot staging, successful separation, re-entry, and landing. The entire mission, from launch to splashdown, took just over an hour, with Starship completing its journey into outer space and returning safely to Earth. The Road to Flight 6 Looking ahead, Starbase will be busy preparing for Flight 6. Over the next few weeks, SpaceX will analyze data from Flight 5, including everything from the booster catch to the re-entry of the upper stage. This data will help refine designs for future missions. Musk has made it clear that Flight 5 was a massive success. It achieved several key milestones that set the stage for future flights. The next step is fixing the nozzle warping and making any necessary adjustments to ensure Flight 6 goes even smoother. SpaceX is focused on refining Starship's design to improve efficiency, safety, and reusability. They remain committed to the ultimate goal of making life multiplanetary. The continuous innovation at SpaceX is evident in every flight. Flight 5 showed significant improvements in the heat shield and the booster catch system. As SpaceX moves toward Flight 6, they'll be building on these successes to make Starship the most reliable and reusable rocket system ever built. Stay tuned for updates as the future of space travel is unfolding before our eyes.